and the old junk car in the woods. A common feature of rural areas everywhere. That's up towards Waltham. Here we are, ever closer to Wayland. Chick has already been spotted. So some early rising ticks are out and about. You've been warned. And here we approach another overgrown cut, which we'll dodge by going up here. Ah, we're coming up. This street ahead is called Gun Club Lane. There's a gun club somewhere. You could hear some shooting irons. And this is kind of an encroachment. But it also looks like it may have been a station platform at one time. It's an interesting old weird building. Kind of like a rural railroad warehouse or something. There's another <coughs> portal into the town forest and some impressive bracket fungi. Now see right there, that platform, that station platform. Now we're approaching one of the first funny little parking lots you can use to access the Weston Town Forest. And to their immense credit, unlike Marblehead and some other towns I've encountered, the good citizens of Weston don't seem to object to Auslanders going for a stroll through their sumptuous woods. It isn't as if they're going to pay someone to stand out here and check your ID to make sure you're from Weston. This is kind of unusual. This new growth of what looked to be a yellow pine species.
And another cool thing that will please dog owners everywhere is that this place applies the keep the pooch under your control and all is right with the world rules, which does make you liable if Bowser bites someone. This is, I believe, called Gun Club Lane. No, it wasn't inspired by the band of Jeffrey Lee Pierce. It's just where a bunch of what passes for affluent local rednecks go to blast their shooting irons in safe and approved circumstances. So from Gun Club Lane, we aren't going to really run into much in the way of grade crossings again until we get all the way to our morning start point of Plain Street. And there you see some severely rippled old track. A little bit of juniper growing in the middle and evidence that the power company has been through here cutting back brush as they are known to do